Hi, it's Michelle Fox, and I am super excited about today's topic. I would like to talk with you today about how important it is that you show up as your customer's beauty professional. Whether you have been around for a long time or whether you are brand new, and depending on those two things, it's going to require a different shift in your mindset. But it is imperative, you owe it to your customers that you show up knowing that you are the one that is bringing knowledge and information regarding her skincare and glamour and that you actually have that information to provide her. We are going to talk about that right now. I think that all of us have a certain amount of insecurity when it comes to the things that we don't know or we don't understand. So for example, when I hear that there's a Mary Kay consultant who also is a cosmetologist and a beauty, uh, you know, a makeup artist, I think, oh my gosh, you know, so when she does somebody's makeup or when she refers or talks somebody through how to do their makeup, like she knows what she's talking about. And then I feel less than. I feel like my customers are not getting as much from me as her customers are getting from her. We need to stop that and recognize that we are the only Mary Kay consultant that our customers have right now, all right? we only They only get one, and it's you. So you owe it to them to show up with confidence and knowledge and a willingness to, to share, to teach, to go the extra mile, to say, not only uh, am I on the scene with the answers to your problems, but I'm going to take the time and help you figure this out. I'm going to share this knowledge with you. If you are brand new, you feel like, well, I don't know anything yet. You know, I just started. I'm going to show you how many resources you have and how it doesn't take but a moment to become an expert, okay? If you've been around for a long, long time like I have, you might feel like, yeah, okay, I, I, you know, I've, I've been through so many trainings and seminars and conferences and I've read all this material and yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. I, I have all of that knowledge and I'm, I have been sharing it. Well, you might not have the online confidence. You might feel like face to face, you could definitely talk someone through how to do her brows, but you don't know how to bring that information to your Facebook group. You don't know how to provide that same kind of service to the customers that you finally gathered online and that are just there wondering, you know, is she going to show up? Is she going to, you know, do anything here or not? Because we owe more. We owe them more than just posting about our products. That's boring. <laughs> it's boring. And that's why they don't engage, okay? Because if our group is just a place for us to post pictures of products and to talk about sales, it, that is just dull. People just don't want that anymore. They are beyond that. They would like to be informed, to be entertained, to be challenged, to be educated, uh, just to have an opportunity to inter interact, to, to have fellowship with other women. It's a new day and online it gives us the opportunity to not only have exposure to so many people, but to help other people connect with each other, it gives us the opportunity to have a community. 
in the real world, in the face-to-face world, the only thing similar to that would be if we had like a guest event, which we could only have so many of them and we can only have so many people. But when you have a a thriving Facebook group, it's like an ongoing, everyday, 24-7 hugely successful guest event and everybody in the United States of America is invited. Wrap your head around that. (laughs) So I I want to tell you a little story that uh, I um, have been in Mary Kay for a super long time and I have, I love to learn. I, you know, so I've gone to lots of conferences and such and anytime that I can study or read something or watch a video I do and I retain quite a bit but there was a period of time where I really put Mary Kay on the back burner and when I came back in you know full time or full force I was like oh my gosh I really felt out of the loop like there was so much that I I didn't know there was lingo there was new lingo even and new programs and I there just so so much and so I really felt like a fish out of water. And I, I do love corny sayings. Uh, so, you know, that was happening. And then also I was seeing how other people were doing live, Facebook Live and Instagram accounts and all this stuff. And I thought, okay, I should probably learn that too. And I really felt like so inadequate, so so inadequate. Add to the fact that I was middle-aged. So... Uh, I just felt less than, but definitely. Then I was watching someone who was new to me, Kristen Sharp. And I observed her, gosh, I don't know if it was a YouTube video or what, but uh, she's a national sales director. She's young. She's extremely sharp. And I was watching her. It, I think it was like a, a tutorial about holiday selling and she was just she was so full of life and joy but she was classy and confident and professional. She had expensive hair, gorgeous makeup, white teeth, very nice outfit and the products that she showed were uh, not just thrown in a basket but each one was put together really really nicely. And she was talking about how, you know, she takes this basket wherever she goes and she even had like a little spiel that she would sell, or, you know, say to, to sell things. And um, she just had so much joy and exuberance and she was just so gorgeous and so confident and she had so much knowledge about what these products do and why people would enjoy them. And I just thought, dang, you know, if I could bring her with me, I would not be embarrassed to carry around a corny little basket like that because that's something that would hold me back. Like, well, what's everybody going to think if I walk into the hair salon with a basket full of stuff? And for some reason, at that point in my life, it just hit me. Well, why can't I be like her? Why can't I be that? What if, what if I like, you know, put on like a really slamming outfit and I did my hair and my makeup and I made really super cute little sets and put them in a basket. And in my head and in my heart, I just thought, I am a successful Mary Kay beauty professional and I am bringing the best products on the market and they will love them. And they these products are going to solve a problem for them or these gifts are going to make gift buying or the holiday shopping season easier, simpler for the people that I run into. This is a no-brainer. People are going to love this. They are going to want this. Everywhere I go, they are going to flock to me. What would happen if my thinking, if I became, you know, like Freaky Friday, (laughs) if I switched bodies with Kristen Sharp, you know, what would happen? Because here's the thing. When Kristen Sharp walks into a big group of strangers, they don't know that she's a Mary Kay national sales director. So there's no difference, really. It's like if if I could get into her headspace and have her, you know, general appearance and, you know, her shtick and her stuff, (laughs) there's, there's no difference. You know what I mean? So then it, be, it becomes a matter of getting in your head that you are enough, that you are a professional, 
and that you have something to give, okay? There was something in that in that time period in my life that like a, a switch flicked, you know, it went on. And things just right after, right after another, they just started changing. I, I just, I absolutely changed the way I perceived myself and my business. And I started my, you know, my Facebook group grew enormously and I started going live for the first time. And I actually opened up an Instagram account and eventually I started YouTube channels and I kept telling myself every time that I would feel embarrassed or like, this is ridiculous. This isn't me. I'd be like, mm, no, I am an influencer. I am a Mary Kay professional. I have an online business now. You know, I would come against that. And I'm going here to say that if you feel like, well, I, I can't, you know, really deliver all this information and knowledge and you know I don't I don't have that to give or whatever if that's how you're thinking that is going to come across if you're feeling like I'm new I don't know what I'm doing I'm embarrassed I feel foolish or I'm old I'm I'm washed up I can't I don't understand this I can't figure this out that's going to come across okay so we are like shedding that skin and we're coming on the scene recognizing that we owe it to our precious customers to be the best beauty resource that we can be for them. We are their go-to person. We want them to think, what would Michelle recommend? Huh, I need to ask her about that. I keep hearing about this ingredient. I should ask Michelle if, if there's anything in, in her line that, that has that. I should get back to Michelle on those um, colors because I'm just not sure which colors would work for my new hair color. <laughs> you know what I mean? We want our people thinking about us when it comes to anything to do with skincare, body care, cosmetics, you know, foundation shade, all of that. We want to be the person that comes in their head immediately when they think of that. Is that happening for you yet? Maybe not, okay? So how do you get there? What can you do? This is coming back to how you want to provide value on your uh, social media. How you want to show up serving providing information, education, entertainment, how, a variety of things, but oftentimes it will be beauty tips or how-tos or tutorials. And like I said, even if you're brand new, you can do this starting right now, okay? If I tell you that when I was in fourth grade, I broke my arm, how long did it take you to learn that when I was in fourth grade, I broke my arm? A moment, okay? As soon as I said it and you heard it and you processed it, you knew it. And then you can turn around and tell somebody, when Michelle was in fourth grade, she broke her arm. And that is just as true coming out of your mouth as it is coming out of my mouth. So in the same way, you can set aside time every day to seek out some kind of beauty tip and then turn right around and post it somewhere for your people so that you are teaching them every day or once a week or twice a week or whatever you determine. Hear this. How often you do it is up to you, but it has to be consistent. So if you do it twice a day, every day, that's great. That's a lot, but it's, it's wonderful, but it has to be twice a day, every day, every day. If you do it once a week, that's fine. Tip Tuesday, every single Tuesday. But don't skip a Tuesday because here's what a lot of people do. They get excited and they'll post like five on day one and three on day two and then one on day three and, and then maybe they wait a day and, and post one and then they don't do anything for three months. That doesn't get you anywhere, okay? You need to make a quality decision that you are gonna provide value, that you're gonna show up as a beauty expert, 
that you are going to perceive yourself that way because you're going to choose to perceive yourself that way. You are providing value. You're going to seek out that information and you're going to bring it to your people. And I'm going to show you resources that are so readily available and some of them you know about, but maybe you don't know how to um, take advantage of them. And then I think some of them you might not know about. So I want to show you that. But uh, get ready to get excited because the beauty of it is that you are going to be learning yourself. And that's a wonderful thing. I love knowledge and I love growing. I love, you know, constantly feeling like I am improving as a person, as a consultant, as a beauty expert. But then also you are going to be... Um, changing the relationship between you and the people in your social media realm because they will indeed be perceiving you as that expert, but they're growing in knowledge. They are beginning to trust you even more to perceive you as their go-to person. They will be much more likely to recommend you to other people, to invite people to your group, to want to have parties, to want to sign up with you because they think she's got it together. I want to be part of her world. I want to understand how she learned how to do that. Okay, so let's talk about some of the resources that we have available to us. All right, are you ready? So easy. I mean, you're going to love this. So one of the places that you can go is your very own website. Uh, this is so cool. And now everybody gets a website. I don't think that was always the case. But now whether you're e-start or whether you purchase the traditional starter kit, you, st you, know, you start with a website. So go to your Mary Kay website. And we all have, so next to shop is tips and trends. Let's see right here, tips and trends. Um, so there's tons of information here. Uh, your skin, makeup artist looks, etc., etc. So a couple of the best would be beauty extras, how tos, but one that I'm really into right now is your skin. So that's where we are right this second. And under here, the essential sneaker 101, power pure retinol. Let's see. There was a whole bunch of them like in a row. So I wonder what I pushed. Just go there. I'll oh, we'll start here. All right, so let's say, um, I know that there are several in here, like at least four, three or four. So Retinol 101, what it is, how it works. Okay, do you know that you can right click on a picture and save that image? So you can come in here, get information about Retinol, right click one of those beautiful images, get some of this information, and then go right back to your page and share it. Like you could literally copy and paste. If that seems boring, which it is a little bit, uh, you can read this, come up with bullet points yourself, and go live and talk about it. Okay, I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Now, if you just feel like I can't, I absolutely cannot go live, then this would be perfect. Like right click this image right here because it's just sh short enough, brief enough to get people's attention. People have a very short attention span and it's getting shorter every year. So they are not going to read really lengthy things. Uh, okay, where's, um, okay, here we go. Yeah, so retinol the benefits of vitamin C and E. So here's the thing. You're not going in and saying, hey, I want you to buy the serum, replenishing serum C plus E. No, you're going in and you're saying, I'm here to explain to you the benefits of vitamin C plus E, okay? So why vitamin C is more important than ever. That is beneficial and you're not asking for a sale that is helpful that is you being a helper later like maybe what i would do is um you know post some of these just talking about that you know vitamin c and, and what it is and what it does you're informing them you're doing a service for them then maybe the next day or that afternoon post this video yes it's about a product but they're you know it's sort of separate so um, 
let's see so click on this when you want to share a video you go to this little you know the three dots right here you click that and you can either copy and paste the links or if you know you want to share it to Facebook you know you would click on Facebook and it's taking its sweet time. It's going to assume that you want to share it as yourself, the person, on your personal wall. That's not where you want to necessarily share it. You could share it there if you are not Mary Kay specific. If you're just sharing like an, oh, this is interesting about vitamin C. Did you know this? But if you're sharing a Mary Kay specific thing, I would save that for your group, your VIP group or your business page, okay? And then go ahead and, and say a little something about it and post it, all right? So that is one other possibility. So your Mary Kay website has lots of information that you could get in here and learn makeup artist looks. And that can be as simple as just um, copying two different pictures and saying, which do you like better? Which would you like me to demonstrate? Or which is, um, which look do you think, um, which look would you prefer for Valentine's Day? Whichever one gets the most votes, I will demo. And that still sets you up as a professional because you are saying, you know, okay, so this year, you know, we've got pinks are really popular and the golds are really popular. Which one would you like me to demo? You're coming on the scene saying, I'm a professional Valentine makeup expert. And this year, these are the looks. Which one would you prefer for me to demo for you this year? So do you see what I'm saying? I don't want to belabor that. Okay, another place you can go is Pinterest. So let's see. This automatically goes to my business thing. Let me go to my home feed. All right, so you would just put in here beauty tips. And you could just find any little old thing and share it. And here's what's interesting to me. <laughs> is that it doesn't have to be Mary Kay specific. Sometimes it's better if it is not. So like this thing about, you know, shaving your face. What's cool about that is that you're not going to sell that. So uh, it is particularly, um, like it is very clear that you are not doing this. You're not sharing this for a sale. You're sharing this to teach, to share, to uh, help them learn something that you think is interesting or beneficial in some way. Um, okay, let me go back. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> okay. Um, there will be scads of things that you can post here. Pictures. When you click on it, then it'll either take you to a site or what have you. But there are endless things you know, ideas in Pinterest. Another thing is our very own Mary Kay in touch in our video lounge. Let's see right here, video lounge. We have adorable videos. Not all of them can be shared. So you have to look for the videos that are under the shareable link. Um, so let's see products. Yeah. But more so, I like to look for things that um, are information. There's a really good one about mascara. Okay, no, this is perfect. Exfoliation 101, why and how. That's great. This is about the difference between chemical and um, physical exfoliation. Why do we need to do it? She does kind of show products in the background, but the bottom line is they're just explaining, you know, why do we need to exfoliate? So you're coming on saying, hey, I want to share this information. And it is, it's interesting. It's very interesting. And so you can, again, just, you know, copy and paste one of these um, either straight to Facebook or you can copy and paste one of those links. So Mary Kay in touch, of course, our mothership has tons of great information. Another one, find somebody to follow on Facebook. One of your favorite makeup artists, another person from Mary Kay like Kristen Sharp. So I love Lori Hogg. She's hilarious. And she always comes up with a tip Tuesday, which I copy every time. <laughs> So today was check out this quick tip on how to get wow brows. 
And there's she has a video. She uses Mary Kay products, but she's not selling Mary Kay products. So she, this is perfect. It's just she is giving a tip on how to outline your brows. So you just come right here. You say that you want to share it. And again, you have different options. So you would decide if you want to share it in a group, share it to your page. All right. So that is a great way to, again, be perceived as an expert. You're serving your customers. You're providing information. They don't know that you didn't know that until two minutes ago. And go ahead and watch it. Learn it so that you can, you know, that you remember that. And the next time that you're having an appointment with someone, you can say, well, you know, the best way to line your brows, according to Lori Hogg, who's a makeup artist that I real follow, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, make sure that you're doing that. And a, one other way is to find somebody on Instagram. There are tons of people on Instagram, as you can imagine, that you can follow. Um, all right, what's happening here? Why is mine not seeing this? All right, hold on. All right, here we go. So my Instagram is Michelle Fox Beauty, and I do a variety of things. I don't always do uh, tips, but like I, I try to do a tip Tuesday. So like today's was about water temperature that you shouldn't use super hot water. It should be warm water, you know. And I just found that I I am part of Pink Bubble. She you know provided that, so I posted it. Yay, you know something for me to post. So you find somebody else that is posting something like that and you can use it as well. So I have several beauty people that I follow and, you know, I use their stuff. All right, I'm jumping back in real quick because I said back when I showed you to get on your own website and to grab a few uh, nuggets of information like when we were talking about getting info on the retinol or the vitamin C and E, that instead of posting that lengthy information that you could just glean some info and that you could go live real quick with lots of energy and just relay that information to your people. I just, I wanna show you how easy that is. I can't stress enough that it's easy and people love it and you will get engagement. So you go to your group and instead of creating a post, you want to click on live video. And when you do that, you will simply have the option to go live. You can add a description and do other stuff, but just keep it simple, sweetheart, okay? There is the, the lightning bolt in the top. I like to turn that on so that I have the, the flash on so I have as much light as possible. You want to make sure that you have as much light on you as possible, and you want to hold the camera high because the higher the camera, you will look younger and thinner. And you click the go live, the blue button. It's going to give you a countdown. Three, two, one, and you are live. Take a breath and you just say, hey, it's Michelle Fox and I'm coming on with your tip Tuesday. Did you know that if you outline your brow underneath from the whatever this thing is called, the arch to the end of your brow and then fill it in with short feathery strokes, blah, 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 you know, and you just give the info that you just found, you know, and that's um, your tip Tuesday from your beauty expert, Michelle Fox. I'll see you next time, you know, and then end. You'll have the option of whether you want to post it or not. Let's say something disastrous happened, your nose started bleeding or the phone rang or the cat puked on you or something. You can delete it, okay? It's very unlikely that anybody actually saw it or very many people actually saw it in that, you know, in those few seconds. So don't worry about it. But if you forgot a word or you, you, you know, drop something, so what? That makes you normal. People, people can relate to that. And the more times you do those little, you know, few second live blips, the more confident you'll become. And before you know it, you'll be doing the every Thursday at 7 live demo and you will have a following. So there are all of those ways you can do a Google search. You can look on Pinterest. You can look at the different websites or YouTube. Um, you can even create something on Canva. I do that frequently. All right, hold on. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and go there. Let's go to Canva. I will show you what I'm talking about, okay? Because you're going to love this. Hold that thought. All right, so when you're in Canva... Let's see here. This is a free app that I've referred to lots and lots of times. So uh, what will you design Instagram uh, 
let's see, beauty tip. Some of them are already uh, in there for you. All right, so get this. I mean, how convenient is this? So they already have beauty tips set up for you that you can go in and edit, you, you know? So um, let's say, and some of them are kind of corny and some of them aren't even exactly right. <laughs> so you can change them up a little bit. Tip for Friday, it's okay to take a break. So, you know, change that up a little bit about you know self-care or whatever. But my point is that there are so many places where you can get tips and ideas so that you can come across as a helpful beauty expert and the more that you start to perceive yourself as a professional helpful beauty expert the more that will benefit your business you can even schedule this oh let's see right here uh, you can schedule this right from canva so if i wanted to post this right now I could, from Canva, say I want to post that on Instagram, you know, put in a caption, schedule that post. Isn't that amazing? So this is not only a place where you can create your graphic, but it is a scheduling platform as well. So I really hope that you are seeing both sides of this, that it's really important for you to provide value, to give beauty tips, to go out and find those tips and provide them for your people, for their entertainment and education and all that good stuff. But even more important is for you to perceive yourself that way. Because when you show up bigger, bolder, prouder, louder, when you start really feeling like, I am a Mary Kay beauty consultant. I am a successful businesswoman. I have an online empire. I am this close to being an influencer. When I say things, people listen. The things that I have to share are going to impact them. I've got products that are going to solve their problems and I have things to say that are going to change their life. When you start coming into that it will change your business. It will change your life. I'm giving myself goosebumps, okay? So whether you are new or whether you've been around for a while, I think we all need to sometimes take a minute and, and ask ourselves, am I showing up as the best I can be? Am I coming in recognizing that I'm the only consultant that this woman has? So I need to give her my all. I need to, need to not just be a conduit between her and Mary Kay, the company, but I need to be her beauty Kay, her beauty Kay, her Mary Kay, her beauty resource. I need to be the one to inform her about skincare procedures, about foundation matching, about shaping her brows, about figuring out what lipstick shade looks the best on her. I need to get out there and train myself. You know, what changes as you age? Do you see where I'm where I'm going? Is like it this is our job. And if you um pull back and feel like, oh, you know, no, I, I'm not really doing it like you are. I'm not I'm not doing this full time. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm saying that if you are servicing any person, if you have one customer, you are the only Mary Kay Beauty Consultant she has, and you owe it to her to come in with confidence and knowledge. And I know you can do it. I know you can do it. So hopefully you got something out of this. Please comment, let me know what you did get out of it or if there's something that I missed, something else that you would like to discuss. I am so excited about the participation and the uh, comments that I've been getting. There is a link for you to click to join my email list. And I will be having um, some upcoming webinars and some really cool stuff that I'll be keeping you in the loop on. So that's really exciting. My first goal was to have 100 subscribers, which we, pff, we've more than doubled that. Now my next big goal is to have 1,000. There's uh, certain um, things that I can access as a YouTube creator when I hit 1,000. So please, if you can think of anyone else who would benefit from these videos, 
recommend them, send them on, you know, whatever, however that works. <laughs> that would be awesome. So thanks so much, and I will see you next time.